Landi tip number five, make sure to put a label. Ano ba tayo? Meron bang tayo? Kasi okay lang naman na masaya tayo, di ba? But at the end of the day, I wanna know what we really are. Oh, diba? Why do you need to put a label in your relationship and what are the different labels existing nowadays? So in this episode of Landi and with Danny, you're gonna know. Hey there, my flirty butterflies! Welcome to a new era of Landi and with Danny the podcast. Chara, hello guys! I'm so sorry. Um, I actually do not know how this setup would look like in the screens once you're watching this from your phones or from your laptops, wherever you're listening to this podcast. But welcome. First of all, I would want to apologize because until I na since I last uploaded, I feel like it's been three months. Three months ba? To my defense naman, like, I had a serious cough for a month. Then I had to finish my thesis. I needed to graduate na talaga. Para I can buhos all my time and effort to you guys. Woo! But yeah, welcome. Um, And I'm sorry. I'm We're just testing out this setup. So we're gonna work through it as we go along the way. But basically, welcome again. I am Danny, and I miss talking to you guys. And for now, you have me. We have this space and I plan to make this space a very comforting vibe. Na parang we're just besties in a sleepover and we're gonna talk about lande. We're gonna talk about flirting, right? So, ano nga ba? This, this episode is about putting a label. Kasi ang dami kong naririnig recently na parang, ano ba kayo? Wala, masaya lang. Pero hindi mo kayo nasasaktan na hanggang dun lang yung label yun na Basta masaya lang kayo. Kasi if you're gonna ask me, I would like to put a title. Most especially if I'm talking to a person na matagal na kaming nag-uusap. Ito, may kwento ko sa inyo. Recently, I've been talking to this guy as in gabi-gabi kami mag-uusap. And like, um, umabot sa point na medyo nainip na ako. Kasi wala naman nangyayari. I mean, okay, fine, we're friends. But until when are we friends? Normal friends who just met as strangers do not talk to each other every day, do not catch up, do not ask personal questions too much about each other. And kapag magkaibigan kayo, hindi lang kayo, kapag, kapag magkaibigan lang kayo, hindi kayo magiging too much caring towards each other to the point na parang mawapataka ka na, oh, is, does this person like me? Okay, we're friends, but there's something more to it eh. Like, alam mo yun. So parang, whenever I make kwento to my friends about this guy, they keep on asking me, ano ba kayo? So parang, sabi ko, wala, friends lang. We're just happy with what we have. But like, if you think about it, ang sad naman nun. Kasi you're trying to build something with a person, but you end up not getting a label. Or it's very blurred. Na parang, to the point na abot na sa mixed signals na siya, kahit hindi naman intention ng person to give you mixed signals. You think that it's mixed signals already, most especially if you start developing feelings. Kasi hindi mo sure kung gusto mo ba siya if you're just friends or if you're just to really caring towards each other. Oh, eto, eto yung sincere part. Ha? Eto yung parang wholesome part. Pagdating naman sa naughty, naughty side. Okay, may sa pang kwento. This guy, I have been flirting with him since 2019. Never kami nakalabel. But, we keep on flirting with each other um, every other month. <laughs> May pattern. Oh, every other month, tsaka kapag single siya. And, lagi kasi siya nagkaka-girlfriend. Ako kasi, ever since 2019, di na ako boyfriend Like, I love being single and like, I don't, I just don't have the time to like, commit to a person and like, give my time to a person, build a relationship, ganyan. But basically, hindi kami nagkalabel. But I always enjoy speaking with him, flirting with him, if libre siya. Oh my God, hindi po ako ng the third party. Never. Whenever he has a girlfriend, I make it a point to not kagat sa mga landi niya, kahit nila landi niya pa rin ako. Oh my God, that's so cancelable for him. But yeah, I enjoy flirting with him. But never kami nag-usap na parang, what are we? There, there just came a point na parang sobrang gulong-gulo na ako kasi he kept on giving signs na he likes me. But he also kept on giving signs na laro-laro lang to, flirt-flirt lang to. Then umabot sa point na sabi ko sa sarili ko na, I need to actually amen to him that I like him. So, what happened was, I wrote a three-page back-to-back handwritten letter ng short bond. No nga, parang A4 paper. This full yun, handwritten letter. Then I, I parang there, there just came a point na parang sabi hindi ko na kaya so nagpasundo ako sa akin sabi ko sunduin mo ako ngayon sabi niya bakit may problema ba sabi ko no I just want to I just need to tell you something so sunduin niya ako then on the way home 
Sabi ko sa kanya, I just need to tell you something serious because it's been bugging my mind for a long time already. Sabi niya, ano yun? Sabihin mo na lang. Sabi ko, so syempre ako, as an Aries, na sobrang like straightforward, Aries people kasi when they flirt, based on my observation, they actually flirt head on. Na parang, kapag hindi nila, kunyari, I wanna chat you tonight, I wanna flirt with you tonight, hindi ako makakatulog hanggang hindi kita nalalan dito tonight. Parang ganun. So, wala na akong pakay kung ano mangyayari nung night. And I just read the letter out loud while he was driving. Tapos after, we came to a con- conclusion na parang, we were just, for him pala, we were just flirting. Talaga. So, plain flirting. For me, I already developed feelings. So imagine, ang sakit nun kapag you guys are not on the same page already. Tapos ang haba na ng time na ginastos nyo sa kung ano man kayo. When I say relationship, I don't say committed the commitment ta. Like, when you're friends kasi, that's a type of relationship. When you're strangers, that's a type of relationship. So don't sana magets nyo whenever I use the term relationship. So, yung relationship namin, we had this friendship. But for me, it meant already meant more. For him, it was just plainly fun flirting. So, I hope that from this episode, most especially when you're talking to someone, and most especially if you're talking for a long time already, huwag kang masatisfy sa masaya lang. Lalo na kung naa-attach ka na. When you come to a point that you develop feelings for a person, you need to have that conversation. Even if you think that it's hard, kapag natatakot ka kasi baka ma-reject ka, you can, you can approach it in different ways. You can approach it in a light-hearted manner na parang, oh, friends tayo dito ah, kahit anong mangyari, kahit hindi ma-reciprocate yung parang kahit hindi tayo same ng page, kahit hindi masiprocate yung feelings ko, okay lang. We're still friends. We're still comfortable. Ganon. You have to establish a friendship there or you have to establish a safe space na parang pag tinanong mo kung ano kayo, there's no pressure. Na parang you're putting a label nga. Doesn't mean that you're putting a label. There, guys, oh my gosh, sorry ang gulo, but there are a lot of labels. Pag sinabi kong label doesn't mean magjawa agad, no? There are a ton of labels. Dito nga, oh, nakalagay sa notes ko. There's talking stage, situationship, friends with benefits, fubu, casually dating, exclusively dating, open relationship. Ang dami. Sobrang daming labels. And ang dami kong explain later. And I think sa mga explain ko mamaya, marami ring hindi pa na-include. So I'm not saying that you enclose your label to these types of categories. It's just that I think that when you're flirting with a person, max two months, pag nakarating na kayo sa two month period, wala pa kayong label. Kailangan nyo na siya pag-usapan. Ano ba tayo? Pag sinabi niyo masaya lang, okay, ano ba for you yung masaya lang? Like, hindi naman kailangan stagnant yun eh. Pag sinabi niyo, okay, we're just flirting. Hindi naman porket sinabi mo, we're just flirting now. We're gonna be just flirting forever. Hindi naman ganun. Nakita kasi yung TikTok na matanda na sila. Situationship pa rin daw kasi hindi umaamin yung lalaki. So, huwag naman yung ganun. Like, you have to constantly reevaluate what you guys are. And if nakikinig ka ngayon and you have the guts to communicate to the other person what you're feeling, Communicated na. Um, tiningnan ko yung analytics kung ano yung age ng nakikinig sa podcast ko. And most of you guys are between 23 to 27 years old. Guys, if you're in that age, alam kong you're already like planning for your future. You're already in that stage na parang ayaw mo nang nagsasayaw ng oras. So therefore, if you're talking to somebody, pag-usapan nyo na. Huwag na tayo magsayaw ng oras. Kasi malay mo, for him, for that other person, sorry, I keep on using him. Parang nilalagay ko kasi sa person perspective ko. Malay mo for that other person, friends lang talaga kayo. This, na-misunderstood, na-misunderstood mo na siya as like, may feeling siya sa'yo. ba diba, Ang sakit nun. Nag-invest ka na ng time. Nag-invest ka na ng effort. Sana pala, kung may lala ka na lang ng iba, na on the same page as you na parang. For example, me, I date to marry. So, if I meet a guy and I think he's not fit for my future, he's not fit to be my husband, to be the father of my future children, bay agad yan. Ganun ako kadali ko usap ngayon. Kaya rin siguro wala akong joke. Pa. Kasi, yeah, I don't, I have, ngayon kasi I have so, 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 sobrang taas ng self-respect ko. To the point na if I see something in a guy na parang, ah, hindi ko kaya to tolerate. I, ganon. Feel ko, hindi ako, feel ko matitigilan lang yung pagiging ganito ko kapag nag-reach na ako ng 25. I feel like I would adjust, I would accept stuff. But now, no, I'm, I'm too young. I can, I can, I have all the options in the world. I'm gonna explore it as much as I want to. Okay, 
Magiging emu kayo, liligawan kanya, magiging kayo. So simple, right? Now, no. When you're at this age, when you reach college, or at my age, 23, pataas, getting into a relationship is just an agreement. Flirting with a person is an agreement. Parang, you like me, I like you, okay, let's flirt. Umabot na sa point na parang you think pwede na maging relationship, you find comfort already, you think that you really like the person na, you have that. Whenever in a relationship, kasi I think there are three things. Emotional connection, you vibe, and the sexual connection. If you think that those three are already in your relationship, wag jo ane nagad. Hindi na matagal ang ligo ligo na sobrang habang kasi haba na hallway na letters kanya. Hindi naganon. High school yun. Now we're in the real world. We don't want to waste time. Okay, let's go back to my notes, shall we? Okay. So nakalagay dito. Why do we need to put a label? I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Ako mismo eh. Like, I would need to gather up the courage before I bring this conversation up. Hindi ko nga siya bring up dun sa kausap ko na nakwento kong two months, diba? Hindi ko siya bring up. So, I know it's hard. But, if you think that you really like the person and if you think that this connection has a shot in the future, in the long run, don't you think that it's better to talk about it now than the connection suddenly fading out na mag-ghost ka na lang niya or magugoost mo siya or pupunta kayo sa conclusion na ay parang ayaw pala natin sa isa't isa. Like, it's better kapag napag-uusapan, right? Kasi in today's modern dating scene, it's so easy to switch. Switch options. It's ano na, based on studies na rin to, ah. Kasi we all already have these different platforms, online dating applications. We have social media to, in short, maging FBI to stalk them and to really gauge if we really like them based on what they post. Yun na yun. Kasi dati, yung panahon ng parents natin, ng mga lolo-lola natin, wala naman silang social media. So kapag they get attracted to a person or matagal nilang friends or realize nila na pwede pa lang may spark, yun na yun. They can't like search or like they can't go on travel mode to Bumble and explore the delicacies of Europe. <laughs> explore the wonders Europeans can offer. No, they cannot. We can. That's why sobrang short ng attention span. So, kung ako sa'yo, may kausap po ngayon, gustong-gusto mo siya, pag-usapan niyo na. Kasi kung hindi naman, hindi ka naman niya ganun kagusto at like, laro-laro lang siya, tigilan mo na kasi ikaw lang din masasaktan. Tagay mo na ng label. Kahit anumang label pa yan. Basta, call it something. Kung may code name kayo for it, go give a code name. Ano, ano kayo? Um, ano ba? Ano mo pwedeng label? Okay. Let's say you don't want to call yourselves kasi magkaiba ang FUBU sa Friends with Benefits. FUBU, you just purely meet and communicate with each other because you just wanna satisfy your sexual desires. Friends with Benefits, you're actually friends, you're comfortable with each other, and you do the deed at times when you need it. If you wanna meet in the middle, kasi FUBUs, they don't actually, I don't think that they should share too much personal stuff with each other kasi madidevelop yung feelings eh. One way or another, kasi naman sa kanila. If you want to meet in the middle of FUBU and friends with benefits, let's say you had wine one night and napag-usapan nyo yung like um, kinks nyo or napag-usapan nyo yung mga nagawa nyo na sexually. Nagkaroon na kayo ng friendship because ang dami nyo napag-usapan. So basically, you get my point? You can like say a term na parang, oh, we're wine buddies. Ano yung wine buddies? Oh, wala. We're, we're friends. But sometimes, we like do the deed. And like, sometimes we just don't talk to each other. But, alam mo yun, like, you give a label to whatever you have and you define it. Hindi <laughs> ko alam kung maayos yung pagbigay ko ng... <laughs> Hindi ko alam kung maayos yung pagbigay ko ng explanation. Or like, let's say, ano kayo? Um, late night call buddies. So, pag-usapan nyo na walang tayo. We're just friends. We're just friends who find comfort in talking to each other every night. Pero walang tayo. Friends lang. Yan. That's a label. That's already a label. So, again... We're nearing the end of this. I'm so sorry if mahaba ulit to. But why do you need a label? Number one, label can a label can help engaging if you're on the same page. Second, when you put the label, you begin to be clear and honest with each other on how you're viewing the relationship. Again, if you ask me, if you reach that two-month mark, pag-usapan yun na siya. And once you talk about it, let's say it's not gonna be negative naman. Let's say, what if parehas lang, parehas yung palang gusto each other? isa. Why di naging kayo na? If hindi naman kayo on the same page, you can like meet at the middle. I'm not saying that once 
once you put a label, you're gonna put an end to it. No, you're putting a label because you want you're doing it for yourself, for your feelings, and for your connection. You're putting a label because you don't want to lose that person, okay? Or you're putting a label because you 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 still want something from that connection, right? Okay. So when you put a label, number three, you begin to define your expectations and desires. Kapag napunta na kayo sa conversation na yun, masasabi mo na kung ano yung gusto mo makuha from that relationship and malalaman mo na rin kung ano yung expectations nyong dalawa sa kung ano man kayo. Nagigets nyo ba? Nagigets nyo na ba kung bakit kailangan nyo na label? You need to put, you need to, you need to call it something. You need to talk about it. And when you put a label, you know what the future may hold for your connection. Let's say, okay, now, fubu tayo. Hindi ka masyado mag expect kasi fubu nga lang. Pag sinabi mo friends with benefits, okay, hindi ka rin masyado mag expect kasi you're just friends and you do the deed. So, kapag dumating sa point na na-fall ka na, hindi mo siya pwede sisihin na, so, ano, ano, yung, ano yung nangyari sa atin? Ba't pa hindi magiging tayo? Hindi mo siya pwede sisihin ganun. Kasi napag-usapan niyo ng friends with benefits lang kayo. Nag-feelings ka, okay. You can tell it to him. You can tell it to the person. You can, you can opt not to tell it. But at the end of the day, nasa sa'yo na yun. <laughs> Putting a label would help you manage your feelings, manage your expectations, and balance out. It would make you, it would help you think logically. Kasi pag na-fall ka na, wala na, hindi ka na nag-iisip eh, di ba? <laughs> I would know. Kasi again, if hindi ka pa rin convinced, kahit yan pa yung pinaka-casual, most commitment allergic, or purely sexual na relationship, whatever happens between you two will not be stagnant forever. So, yun. You have to constantly talk about it. But wag naman yung every week. Wag naman ganun. Siguro mga every other month check up. Uy, check up ng feelings. Ganun. Okay, so ano-ano nga ba yung mga labels na alam ko? Kasi marami, feel ko marami akong labels na hindi ko pa alam. Number one, the talking stage. Talking stage, I feel like talking stage would be the stage nung two months before you actually talk about the label. Or max siguro five months lang kayong talking stage. Kasi after that, well, dami nyo na pag-usapan. Lalo na kung constant communication yun. Five months? Talking stage pa rin? Ano? Alam nyo na ba? Kabisado mo na rin ba yung araw at yung oras na pinanganak siya? Girl, iba na yun. Iba na yun. Hindi lang talking stage yun. Talking stage, this is the getting to know stage. And usually, when you're in the talking stage, based on my experience and based on my understanding, masaya kayo sa presence sa isa-isa. Masaya kayo nag-uusap kayo and masaya kayo to spend time with each other. And eventually, it would lead to a romantic, deeper romantic connection if you like prolong this talking stage. Situationship naman, situationship can either be a romantic relationship na from time to time, bumabalik yung spark or a sexual relationship na it's like, basically, situationship, it's like you guys are together but it's not constant and you guys aren't committed to each other. You you just have a relationship depending on the situation. Situationship. It depends on the situation kung may relationship ba kayo. That's how I view a situationship. So, if you say na para, oh, we're in a situationship, it's kind of blurry, honestly, if you ask me. That label is so blurry to the point na mapapatanong ka rin sa kausap mo, sa ka-situationship mo na, what exactly is a situationship? Gets ba? That's situationship. Friends with benefits naman, yan. You do the deed and you're also friends. And I think this is tricky because you need to always keep in mind na friends kayo. Kasi, lalo na kapag ginagawa niyo yung deed, Based on science, females release this type of hormone that makes them fall in love when they do the deed. Men na, males na, they don't, they don't really, nababawasan sila ng type of hormone. Basta, in a different episode, we're gonna talk about that. Fubu naman, the label fubu, you have sexual intercourse, you might have met from an online dating app, friend of a friend, they're complete strangers, and you don't know that much about each other, you just meet purely for to satisfy your sexual desires. Casual dating at all. Casual dating, you're casual. If you say that you're casually dating, that means you're going out. And hindi siya lang, hindi lang siya yung dinadate mo. Hindi lang ikaw yung dinadate niya. You're dating around, trying to test out the waters, trying to see your options between, between different types of people. 
So when you say that you're casually dating, hindi pa kayo tali sa isa't isa. Hindi pa kayo magjowa. Nagde-date kayo, pero nagde-date din, nagde-date din kayo ng ibang tao. So let's say you have a roster. Na parang ka-date mo siya today, may ka-date ka rin mamaya, may ka-date ka tomorrow, ganon. Casually dating, parang testing out, going out, just testing kasi may spark eh. We have a spark, so we're testing out if it can like blossom into a fire or whatever. Tas ano naman, exclusively dating, when you say that you're exclusively dating, meron ng hint of commitment dyan. Kasi you're just dating each other. Hindi pa siya technically boyfriend-girlfriend, but you're already seeing each other na kayong dalawa lang. So you talk about it na parang, I'm seeing you, you're seeing me, we should only be seeing each other. No more dating sa labas. Of course, yung next na to is a relationship. So um, siguro, the next step na nito is yung tayong tayo tayo na I love you you love me love na talaga to love na natin isa't isa doon na papunta yon kapag exclusively dating may isa pa akong alam na label which is an open relationship so you guys are, are already together but you still see you can still see other people I know a lot of you guys would be wondering may ganun ba talaga yes marami na sa open relationship right now and a lot of people in open relationships actually like get through it na parang successful naman kaya naman nila i-maintain but this is not for the um weak of heart kailangan mo ng deep understanding and like maturity talaga for you to be able to sustain being in this relationship so I honestly think and I honestly do not recommend this but if mas maayos sa setup nyo, then go for it. Okay? So, at the end of the day, my tip talaga, communicate your needs and your desires, most especially when you're flirting and you're actually building a connection, a relationship, okay? So, again, I am sure marami pang ibang label jan. And bottom line, put a label in whatever you have because it is through this that you would avoid any heartbreak, mawawala yung or mababawasan yung feelings of being used or feeling of being misled and of course, labels ultimately help to protect the nature of the relationship as you both probably came together because you really liked each other. So better to put a label on it, diba? So, when you put a label you would kind of build a protective um protective barrier in whatever you guys have at the end of the day i'm just thinking of your feelings guys para kung yung best friend yo or like ate nyo na nagsasabi na gawin mo to para hindi ka masaktan okay yun lang yun oh my gosh i can't believe nakatapos tayo mag-record ng isang episode sana lang maayos ang quality ng mic kasi may aircon na po Frick. Okay, bahala na. So, yeah, that's all for today's episode. Thank you so much again, my butterflies, for tuning in. I will try my best, again, to post every Wednesday night. So, if you have any realizations while listening, again, realizations are your landy realizations, please don't hesitate to share them, comment them below, or Please, I would love it. I would love for you guys to share it as well on your Instagram stories. Like, sharing it on episode na to from Spotify directly. Then put your insights, put your inputs, put your realizations on your stories. And please tag me. I will restore them. I promise. Nakikita ko yung mga stories. Ay, nakikita, nakikita ko yung mga messages sa Instagram. So, I would very much want to see them tag me it's at danny bonvenida d-a-n-i-b-u-e-n-v-e-n-i-d-a and yeah you can also post it on your facebook my days threads twitter kusan yung gusto post and i'm also planning to upload this on youtube para ma yeah that's all thank you so much for tuning in most especially if you made it till here uh, my freaky butterflies so always remember to keep your head up high and learn from troubles that pass you by. Then be responsibly. Mm-hmm.